Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to discuss how we can create a flow and also we will see how we can uh, collect the value which has been emitted by our flow. So in this video, we will see uh, certain things like how Kotlin flow can be created and how, how we can collect it and what is the nature of flow. And also we will see uh, the behavior of Kotlin flows. So first, uh, I will go to the Android Studio and we will see some example and then we will come back to this slide to connect our dot. So let's quickly jump to Android Studio to bring flows into the action. So now we will create a flow and in order to create a flow, we have to use a flow builder API. So for that, first I am creating one function called fun value emitter and then we have to call flow builder function. So this is our flow builder function and here we have to specify the return type. So I'm writing here a string. So if we want to emit the value from this flow builder, then we can emit the value using a emit function. So this is the emit function. Okay. Let's say first value emitted first value emitted. Now here I have passed a string because in our flow, I have specified the type a string and I am telling my flow builder that I will emit the value of type a string, which has been passed here as a parameter inside our emit function. Now I will delay for one second or say two second. And then again, I will emit the another value, say second value emitted okay also i will print this statement just to ensure that uh, we have entered inside the flow so flow builder started and at last i will add one more print statement flow builder finishes okay now we have created the flow using a flow builder. Let's collect this flow. So for that, I am creating one main function. And here again, I will log say print Allen and inside main, and then one more print function. Main finishes. Okay, now we will call this value emitter. Let's run this program to see the behavior. So I can see inside main and main finishes has been printed from this main function, but nothing has been called from the value emitter. This is because flow are cold in nature. So if you will see the documentation here, it is mentioned that this flow builder will create a cold flow from the given suspendable block. Now to collect a value from a cold flow, it is mandatory to collect the flow using a terminal operator. So this is the producer block. Okay. And this is the consumer block. So inside consumer block, we have to collect the value, which is getting emitted from this flow. And to collect that value, we have to use a terminal operator. So we are using a collect operator to collect a value. Now we can see this collect is suspend in nature. Okay, this is a suspending function. So it need to be executed inside a coroutine scope or else we have to declare this method as a suspend. So I'm calling this function inside a run blocking block. Okay, so now compiler is not complaining and now we can print the value. Okay, and just for readability purpose, I'm doing few more changes. So here I will add flow and this flow will be of type coroutine flow and this will return a value a string and also after every emit i'm printing the new line okay this is also getting emitted so i will print one more line let's run the program to see the behavior okay now we can see inside main has been printed and then this function, this block is getting called. 
which is value emitter and i can see flow builder is started is getting printed and then first value emitted which is this one and then second value emitted which is this one and then flow builder finishes once flow builder is finishes it is calling main finishes so to conclude this block of code is acting like a producer and this block of code is acting like a consumer from produ producer we are producing a value with the help of flow builder and to emit a value from a flow builder we have to use a emit function okay so also we know that flow is cold in nature so as this is having a cold behavior so one cannot call the flow directly so for that we have to collect the flow with the help of terminal operator so inside the consumer we have used dot collect to collect the emitted value from this flow builder okay and as this collect block is suspending in nature it will need coroutine scope for the execution so also if we don't want to mention run blocking here we can directly uh, write suspend here like this this will also give the same result so if we will execute this we will uh, see the same result which we received earlier okay friends finally we are back to our slide and we have already learned how we can create a flow builder this is the syntax for creating a flow builder where first we have to write flow and then we have to mention the type of value which we want to return from this flow builder so this flow is coming from a flow builder abi and also if we want to emit any value from this flow builder then in that case we have to use a emit function so in our case we are writing emit let's cook android so this is type of a string because we have already mentioned that this flow builder will return a string value also we have seen that flow are cold in nature so we cannot call print name directly so to collect a value from the flow what we have to do we have to use a terminal operator so to collect a value we have to write print name dot collect and then we can print the value now also we know this collect is suspending in nature so for the execution of this complete statement it would be needing coroutine scope so in our example we are passing this complete statement inside a run blocking block for the purpose of execution so i have covered point number one to collect flow we need to use terminal operator that has also been covered flow are cold in nature that's good we know already and the final point is kotlin flow emit value sequentially what does that mean let's jump to android studio for demonstration flows are sequential in nature what does that mean it means that every line will get executed sequentially and when we are calling a suspend function from a producer block then the producer will suspend until the suspend function return what does that mean so to demonstrate this first i will create one suspend function say suspend fun get result and this function will return a value of type string let's delay for 5 seconds we are trying to simulate that we are doing some kind of api call and that api call is bringing a result from server so i am returning that result from this function now this is a suspend function when we will call this suspend function from this producer block okay then what going to happen the producer will suspend until the execution of this block will complete okay so first what we will do we will write here well result and then i am calling get result okay and then emit result so i know that this get result function is getting called on line number 12 control will come here and it will execute this line so this complete statement is getting executed in 5 second so control will come to this line it will stay for 5 second and then it will go to the next line for the execution so it will stay to the to this line until the get result execution will get completed so in conclusion in our example the producer suspends this producer will suspend until the get result network request complete okay and only then the result emitted to the stream after that only the value is going to emitted so let's run this code to see the behavior so inside main flow builder is started 
it is executing till this line and after that it is waiting for five seconds and then again it is executing all of the line so it states that kotlin are sequential in nature so just to conclude again we are creating one get result function which is of type suspend function we are trying to simulate that we are trying to hit some api which is taking five seconds to bring the result and then it is returning the result now we are calling the same function inside the flow builder block okay so as flow are sequential in nature it will execute this suspend function but it will the control will stay on this line until this complete execution the get result execution will complete once get result execution will complete uh, the control will come down for further emission and printing okay friends you might get surprised by knowing we have few more flow builders like flow of dot as flow let's see their example to understand it better so to demonstrate it first i will create main function where i would be executing that so as you know first we are going to see the example of flow of flow builder so for that i will create one variable flow of builder okay and we will go with our normal rule like first we declare the flow so i will write flow of i am not writing flow uh, builder this time this time it is flow of and then we have to tell the uh, return type so here i am writing integer and then i will emit the value one two three okay now as we know flow are cold in nature so what we have to do to collect the value we have to call this flow builder with the help of terminal operator so i am writing flow of builder dot collect okay now our compiler is complaining because collect is suspend in nature so either i can call i can move this block inside run blocking which provide the coroutine scope or i can simply add suspend inside the main suspend to the main function now compiler is not complaining now what we can do we can print the value so this is the basic rule which we have already seen in our previous example that if we are having a suspend function then suspend function will require a coroutine scope or else we have to declare that function as a suspend so here i have declared the function suspend and then i am trying to collect the value which has been emitted from which has been emitted from this flow builder let's run this code i should get one two three perfect now there is another type of flow which is of type list so say list flow builder for example i am having a list type of integer one two three four okay and I, we have one extension function which can change this list directly to flow so what i can do i can mention as flow okay now as per our rule we already know that if we want to collect this we have to call on top with the terminal operator so i am doing the same list flow builder dot collect this time compiler is not complaining on dot collect because we have already mentioned suspend to our main function let's print this value as well let's run the code to see whether one two three four is getting emitted so this time we will get reply one two three and then one two three four and the one flow builder which we have learned already flow this is the one which we have learned let's try to emit the value from this flow as well so i will emit seven this time and i can collect the value using a terminal operator and then i can print the value say eight now we will see one two three one two three four and then seven perfect also if we have emitted any value for example we have emitted flow of builder already so again we can emit that value inside this flow builder we can do like this flow of builder dot collect and then we can print it from here it so now we will get one two three and then one two three four and then seven and then again one two three okay isn't it it looks like a boilerplate code 
So as an alternative, what we can do, we can write here emit all and inside this, what is the parameter we can pass flow inside this. So we can directly pass flow of builder and we can remove this line. So this line means the same thing. So we can remove this part because emit all internally it is doing the same thing flow of builder dot collect. So I will remove this part and we will see the behavior again. So let's see one, two, three is getting emitted first, which is this one. And then one, two, three, four, which is coming from a list one, two, three, four, and then seven, which I have emitted from this flow builder. And then finally one, two, three, this one. Perfect. Now you might be wondering what is the purpose of using this two flows? So to answer that, if you want to use this flow of builder, you can consider that uh, when we create a flow for fixed set of value, we can use uh, this flow of builder. So here you can see we are passing a fixed set of value, one, two, three. We are knowing uh, what value we are passing. It's a fixed set of value. And the second one is if we want to uh, change the collection, we can collection to flow, we can directly use a, this dot as flow extension function flow of is used to create a flow from a fixed set of values so we can declare something like this flow of one two three and if we want to collect this value we have to use dot collect operator and then we can do whatever we wish to in the similar way as flow is the extension function on various types to convert them into flows so for instance we can convert list of values to the flow and then we can collect it using a collect operator. Collect operator is a terminal operator. There are few more types of terminal operator which we will see in the future videos. Uh, that is it for this part of video. Stay tuned on my channel for further videos. Thank you so much for watching. Please do not forget to like and subscribe my video. Thank you so much.